All right, good morning. What are we up to? Three stages of totem. May 1st. Time to start a whole new cycle. Anyway, so we have number one, which come out pretty damn good. Number two, which is an interesting story, and I'll show you in a second. Um, we'll get the phone set up. And then we got number three here. That uh, is a fresh pour that I got to clean up. This one's going to be easy. Uh, and I'll show you why on number two in a second. I'm going to see if I can set you guys up. Y'all can hang out with me for a few minutes while I play with toads. I'm going to go where I'm toad. Um, okay, so, we wiggle, oh, that probably just, is, make sure I'll just sit down, right? Okay. We're going to work with that, I think. I got a rough idea, I can use Toad 3 for, okay, so, first one see he come out pretty good he's still got a little some little roughs in him I'm not gonna get too worried about it his edges could have been cleaner again I hope I'm getting this right corners like this uh, and his feet came out pretty decent this one was so so the rest of them not bad Oh, there's something. I may address that. I don't like this. I know it. You probably won't be able to see it on the camera. But yeah, it's uh, little ruffles. So, as my good brother would like to say, I geeked out on this one or tweaked out or... And I got a little bit more. You notice my creases and corners a lot cleaner. Uh, there's a spot I need to work. Um little bit I could do there but we like that eyebrow but where the problem came in with this one number one he's heavy as shit he's still drying I had huge inclusions it was just messed up my feet and what I did to cure that and save this piece I haven't trimmed up the bottom yet I gotta finish you can see the way it goes I packed very close to the same moisture clay back in on top of this and dumped the uh, um, form back together. So I do have to still clean that bottom. But if you look at this one, I kind of geeked out on them a little bit. And since we're talking about repairs, I'll show you one other one. Um, we do got a couple new things that Dory just like fell in love with. And this guy for later in the season, it was an obvious fail. But it shows you what it is. It's a napkin holder. It'll probably be a little bit of a pain to pull. But we'll figure it out. So anyway. Damage repair. I've been cleaning on Mr. Mummy. And if there's arrows. I've done repairs. Oh, I'm going to have to work on it some more. He was split. Oops, let's see. He was split all the way up around in here. And it's trying to crack. I don't know. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to save him. Uh, we'll work it a little bit more. And try to do what we can. If nothing else, he'll be an example piece. We'll go ahead and cook him. We'll go ahead and cook him. To a bisque. And then I'll let... Uh, let some lucky individual paint that for me for a sample and the catalog and then if we don't like it we'll uh take it to the uh bb gun gallery and use it for targets so enough about that i don't know how much i've done on trimming to show you guys We 
with clay water's your friend and actually there's a neat little bit of uh, history here and i was thinking about it when i was doing this shit yesterday back before computers and technology and all that when they were uh, building car bodies and stuff started off with clay so and the more I play with this, like everything else I'm finding, whatever comes to hand that works for tools can be handy. This guy's been handy. So the very thing, first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to go in. And like I said, we kind of like that eyebrow, but we're going to knock that back a little bit. And we're just going to come in and start cleaning seams. If you do this when it's wetter, you don't know, got near the nasty dust. I need better lighting. I'm only going to do a little bit of this to show you guys, you know, because I don't like them long, dumb videos. But whatever your favorite tool is for knocking them down, and then you just, um, just like with, uh, let's see if we can get a better light on the subject on this side for you guys. Just a little bit more. I need better light in here. I'm going to work on that very soon. Okay. So anyway. Like with plasma cutting, it turns out, with most things, you want to be controlled. And the best way to be controlled is working back toward yourself. With the plasma cutter, don't try to push. Pull. And the same thing with this. Once in a while, I'll get up in a little corner, you know, and I'll go the other way. But primarily, especially with handy, having this banding wheel, but you don't, again, you don't got to have a banding wheel, but it helps. But what the nice thing about it is, is, you know, you can kind of keep bringing the piece around to you. Keep it in the, keep the spot you're working on in the light you like. And just work them. Let's see. So a spot like that, I kind of work the other way a little bit, but I'm still going to try and come in, put pressure on the back side, control it. I'd love to find somebody who'd like to learn how to do this. Keep working around. See now I've got a little inclusion right here. When I get on this with the sponge, that should go away. If I'd have real about realized it right off the hop, I might have uh, mudded it. And I've had this one covered up. So bottom side, he's still he's pretty pretty damp. So I can I can do a a fix quickly yet yeah, and have a good outcome using clay if I want to fill that void and like I said you just take time and work your steam lines back see like here's where you start geeking out on that first one I probably I probably only had it cleaned back like that. Yep. Gotta watch tool marks when you slip and get too much. You could use the oops, could use the soft side of the tool if you were still working on something that was wet or you were worrying about uh, cut lines. I like that sharp side of the tool because it just makes it for me, I, I can move a little quicker with it, and while um, but I'm not trying to be set fast for us to make any kind of profit on these pieces, which is the whole point we're doing it, that and not having to send away for the Chineseium ones. Uh, it's nice to be able to, I should be putting USA in them, on them too, but so 
before I school off. We're gonna we're gonna take you down through here and uh, probably just get this one side more or less done, and we'll call it a video. Yeah, see some spots it's just easier to push in gently. But this is where you decide how 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 much time you can put into it. Now, if you decide you'd like to try this from literally pouring it, popping it, and finishing it, we can accomplish accommodate you on that and the fun part about that is you when you do that you can get just as much time into it as you want making it a smooth nice looking piece and I won't send a not smooth, nice looking piece, but there's sellable, and then there's, wow, why'd you put so much time into that? And if I was doing it as a hobby completely, oh yeah, no, that'd be, Johnny don't need to be doing this for a hobby. Because just like with anything else you might piddle with, you can always do it worse, but it's tough to do it better. The nice thing about this is, though, doing, doing it back to back, you can figure out all the little goofs, the little headache problems. And actually, I'll show you one. Here in just a, into a second that's actually kind of interesting. Yeah. You know I'm kind of, I'm, I'm using my thinker if all of a sudden I get quiet. A little bit tough, tougher cleaning. Toolbox, toolbox, toolbox. It's a nice thing about clay. I will give it that over doing leather work. It, uh, it's forgiving. So, I'm going to put... So you guys can see what I'm talking about really well. There's a spot in my mold that has an inclusion. So it leaves that nasty bump of clay in there. We could do a quick, quick clean up on it and, and let it go. Nobody would probably ever notice. Or we can take a second, especially since it's still pretty damp. Come in here with the other tool. I wonder if I can put you guys on this a little bit better. See a dog. Yeah. Right in here. And so I'm on it with the uh, spoon and I'm just in there trying not to get crazy because one of the oopses I did with the mummy yesterday was uh, I broke through them in one spot that was not cool The coolest part about it, though, is, let's say if I did mess this up at this point, I'm not out the clay. I can put, 
I can put the clay back in the bucket, dehydrate it, hit it with Dar D D Darwin 7. <laughs> That's a joke, guys. My phone don't listen to me. So, yeah. Ooh, I hate it when I feel them do shit like that. This thing just moved underneath my hand and I heard it pop. And hey, what was I just talking about? Breaking through. Now I gotta fix it. Because I got too overzealous. Where did that pop come from that I just heard? Maybe it was telling me. Stop. Okay, well. I can fix that. Might as well get it kind of like I like it before I do, though. So. Let's put the sponge on it for a second. Up, so. I'm trying to find that happy medium where y'all can see what I'm doing, but it's not. Rub side, first rub side. Probably should set it lower. We gotta work on the lighting. And then my hole in the butt. I pointed it out before I did it. So let's see here. How much time am I at? Holy 16 minutes. Okay. We're just going to give you a rough look at this, but see how that is clay. You know, it's going to, you can go from rough to clean, get tool marks, get little extras that ain't supposed to be there, and just. So, I'm going to end the lesson because, like I said, I don't like them super long videos. But I am going to give you a side by side example here in a second. Now, this side through here that I just did, this work, if I wasn't totally in a geek out mood. See how we got a bump there that we don't like? There's some miscellaneous nasty. Babu, good God. I've already been there playing a little bit, trying to clean up his line. Looks like. And that's basically, see, I got a little seam bump that I don't like. Let's knock that down a little bit more. I don't like seams. That's the thing right there. It only takes just a little bit of love. To make that look. So much better. So other than fixing another hole in the butt. And doing the whole rest of it. Mr. Toad number three. And almost 20 minutes. Sorry. Again, for those of you who hang out, watch, like, pay attention to my bullshit, thank you so much. Hopefully we will not see you on the road or the trail unless it's in a good way. And maybe we'll see you down at Jars of Clay. Drop in to visit Dory. And if you can, tell the people that you know that might like it. It would really help. Y'all have a good day.